Hi, bats. That's the next thing I really want to look at. Hi, bats. Hi, bats. That's the next thing I really, really want to look at. It amazes me. People spend £55, £60, $70, whatever, sheet of tinnergy. You need two for a bath, 140. Then you replace them. You play three times a week, three times a year. You're looking at what, 520? 520. But when it comes to blades, paddles, bats, whatever you want to call them, people, yeah, 100 pounds for a bat? You've got to be kidding me. Why? Bats, to me, just personal preference, they're the most important thing. They can last 10, 15, 20 years, far longer than a sheet of rubber. And they're ultimately what connects you to that rubber, what's in your hand. But what type of ratings do we have for them? Offensive, offensive plus, all round control. That's pretty much it. What's control mean? Well, how about this for a suggestion? For hardness, there are ways you can do water, but I don't really want to damage the blades, so I have to try and find a way. Possibly, you could measure the sound, higher the pitch, harder the wood. Or you could uh, possibly do something what I'm going to do now, just focus on something like control. Control. How does it feel in your hand? What can you measure for that? You see this? It's actually an industry vibration meter. It's meant for machines. But it's possible for me to find a way to attach that to a blade, drop the ball, check what the vibrations are. Drop it in another point, drop the bow, check what the vibrations are. And I can control how high I drop from, so don't worry about that type of thing. And it will show up there. And then I can switch it to another bow. And try that one. Ooh, hear the difference? And I can check by the handle because that's basically as close as it's going to get to your hand. Sure, the handle impact on it, but that's a bit too difficult for me at this stage because of the shape of the handle. So you can look at things like sweet spot. Bigger the sweet spot, the more forgiving the bat is. Smaller the sweet spot, less forgiving. You can take control as in how much vibration is transmitted through to the handle, which is what this will hopefully measure. All those types of things. And then, of course, you've got what about bolts of core? I've heard people, I've read myself, what difference does a bolt of core make? Well, see these two bats? They're custom made by a guy called Peter Funley in Germany. I don't think he makes them anymore, I think he's too old, so I'll be better soon, Peter. And he made these for me a few years ago when I was really into my testing. And he built them to parameters I set. So these have got as close as I can the same handles as close as I can, the same veneers. The only difference is this one, it's got bolts of core. I'm not going to tell you how much, how thick it is. I have the measurements of what the different veneers are and weights and stuff. This one doesn't, it's got an actual model wood, wood core. So I'll be able to test these two bats. Identical, I didn't mean possibly came from the same sheets of wood. But one's got a bolts of core, one hasn't. What difference does a bolt of core make? Big fun. But then again, you've got other ones who say, oh, yeah, well, today's plastic balls, uh, you, let's go for a carbon or a harder veneer. We get more power because they're slower, these balls. Well, what he also did for me, he put different veneers on. On that side, you've got a softer wood, which should, in theory, help generate extra spin. And on that side, you've got a harder wood. It's actually bamboo. I did check with Toss and Kuna. And he seemed to think it was fine to use bamboo, even though technically it's a grass. So, here I've got two bats. Pretty much identical, except for the bolts of core. And on one side, a hard walnut. And on the other side, a soft water. You might be paired, but like I say, I do have the woods. What differences are going to be between these bats? Most of the point, what differences are going to be? I want to switch over there's a different veneer on. It's been really, really interesting. I might just be able to find out whether a balsa core actually does suit me for blocking or a wood one. I mean, here's the ball, just have a listen to yourself. You 
together. The only difference, thickness, and what the core is. It'd be interesting. And of course, I can then measure speed as well, because that's one thing that I won't be able to measure. Like I can measure it within the rubbers that I talked about in an earlier video. Rebound speed. So I will be able to say, lots of bats here I've had in the years, and will add up. Which are the fastest bats? Which give you the most feel and to handle? Do you really want feel? That's a dog, by the way. Sorry about that. Lots of different questions, lots of different tests I can do these. And then, I can start to add rubbers to these. Does Tinergy work better? On a hard surface, the balsa core? Or a hard surface with an oval core? Or a softer wood with an oval core? Or a softer wood with a balsa core? For once, might be able to get to find out. So if you're interested, if you really want to know the difference between veneers, cores, can't necessarily do weight because they're pretty similar with about 10 grams. If you want to know the information around the blade and the impact it can have on the performance of a rubber, this is the type of video that will be for you. So again, if you like this idea, if you think this is something that's right up there with what you want to know, like and subscribe to the channel please. I need to know the numbers to see where I'm going to target my resources because I've got to be very specific now. And if you don't think it's any good, fine. Don't like the video. Simple. Thanks for your time.